You are a beautifully lazy human being. And I respect that. I am too. I know why you're here. You want to get trusted. <coughs> I mean, you want to make a VRChat avatar or world. But you don't want to put in the effort. You want to do the bare minimum. You'll have the tutorial I never had. It's basically getting started. Just learn how to upload something. Just get something in VRChat. The bare minimum. And I'm going to help you do that. So let's get started. First, we'll have to go over the requirements. Requirements will be that you have a VRChat account that is ranked new user. And if you have that, the next thing you'll need is a computer with a CPU and a GPU. The final thing you'll have to do is install the VRChat Creator Companion and it will set up how you do Unity and everything. If you need a little more help on how to, you know, install that, then I have a video right here for you. You're welcome. Go watch. Go, go watch it. Um, now we just need to launch the Creator Companion and uh, let's get started on what's easiest. VRChat Worlds. So with the Creator Companion open, just click Create New Project. And then once that's open, click Unity 2022 World Project. And then uh, name it what you want. Pick the file location and then click Create Project. Next, it'll open up this area where you can add a bunch of packages. But I'm just going to open the project. Believe it or not, this is halfway to uploading your first VR chat world. It's that easy. Yes. All right, let's continue. Off the project to open, we're not going to do anything except uh, upload it. So click VR chat SDK, show control panel, and uh, should bring up this window. Now sign in. We're going to give it a name. And then inside review any alerts, we're going to click auto fix. And in order to build it, we need to capture a picture. So we'll capture in scene and then click capture. All right, now we can build and publish. Select OK, that's yours, and wait for this to finish. Once it's done, inside uh, platforms, we're gonna select Android, and we're gonna build and publish it again. This we'll upload it to the Quest. Now your world is uploading. You can see in VRChat. We're gonna click to see it on the website right here, and it'll open up this tab for you. Now, this is everything about your world, and you can see that it's private, and to make it public, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the edit button and inside here if you scroll all the way down you see you can publish it to community labs this makes it public for everyone through community labs you can only do this once a week and if there's not enough travel to your world it can get taken down but you can join your world anytime or your friends can join your world anytime if they go through links like the one i just clicked this will open up your vr chat world uh so let's uh wait and let that happen you can see joining this world it is in fact the bare minimum and you just uploaded your vr chat world now in the future i'll explain to you how to add stuff to it so just stick around now you can brag about it to all your friends and uh get that trusted rank <laughs> Now I can almost guarantee that is not what all of you are here for. Y'all are here for avatars. While making a VRChat world is easier, avatars, there's a little bit of extra work. Back in the VRChat Creator Companion, we're gonna create a new project. We're gonna select 2022 avatars instead of uh, 2022 uh, world. Select that, name it what you want. Pick your location, create project. Once this opens up, it's gonna ask us for a bunch of packages we want to add to it, uh, as you can see. Uh, you can update these if you want. Uh, I suggest just updating them. Uh, you just click confirm. And now that they're uh, both added, or sorry, updated, uh, we click open project and now we just wait for this open with the project open what we are going to do now is head over to the hierarchy on the left hand side and it's this area right here uh if you don't see anything click this drop down we're gonna right click create empty then we're gonna select this object make sure it's zero if it's not zero right click reset and uh we're gonna go to our game object right click that and then click 3d object and you can add any 3d object you want let me let me just add a capsule Okay, uh, to see it better in the scene, we're gonna, in this, this the scene view, by the way, uh, we are going to right click and move around and W, A, S, and D to move around. This is just like no clipping in Gmod or uh, flying around in creative mode in Minecraft, except uh, you don't use shift and space. Well, looking at it, you can see Z forward is the way we're looking. You can sort of see we're in the ground because this, this grid shows what the ground is. Um, we are going to press control and move this little guy up until he is above this grid area. If you don't see this grid area, in this scene view, in the top left, you'll see this little uh, uh, toggle and that shows the floor. We have our game object and we have our capsule inside the game object. We're going to add the an animator component you need this for vr chat it won't let you upload without it we also going to add a a vrc avatar descriptor this is also needed for your avatar this 
tells VR chat that this is an avatar. It also allows you to do all the toggles and things like that. Uh, we are going to edit the view. If you don't see it, just click the drop down box. And this view right here, this little sphere, is it's it's where your camera is it's what you see out of when you play vr chat i'm going to move this to right about where it needs to be the last thing we're going to do is we are going to change this shader to be vr chat compatible for for quest so it's right click create new and material and i am going to select the material up here in the top right in the inspector i'm going to click uh, where it says shader from standard go down to where it says VR chat go to mobile and I will just click uh, tune standard I want to take it drag it and drop it on our character we can actually upload it except you cannot have a capsule collider we're going to remove it by clicking on our capsule going to the inspector click these three dots and click remove component and finally we're going to go VR chat SDK show control panel and you're gonna to have to sign in and meet me back when you are once you're logged in you'll be presented with this setup if you don't see any of these once again they're uh, they're drop down menus so just undrop down those and name the avatar what you want uh, we're going to capture it in scene I'm just going to click capture right down here in uh, review alerts if you have any problems it will tell you right here now that we have uh, this done we're going to go to build and publish we're going to select both windows and android this will publish to both at the same time if we did everything right it should publish to both at the same time um let's click multi-platform build and publish and uh yes i own this but this will go through and uh upload for you this can take quite a while so uh i'll be back when it's done all right and it's finished and you can uh see it on the vr chat website if you want to and uh in here you can see a uh, bear avatar uh, you can make the avatar public which is what i want to do i want everyone to see my capsule let's test this in vr chat and see if it actually works now okay now that i'm inside vr chat we can actually switch into this avatar uh i am going to go to avatars and i am going to go to my avatars and we will go to uploaded in here you can see the bear avatar up in it and you have your first avatar uploaded this is the bare minimum to upload a vr chat avatar i do have a video showing how to upload avatars you find offline and i plan to update that but yeah this is the bare minimum a extreme bare minimum now get your trusted rank and brag to your friends that you upload uh capsules and uh empty vr chat worlds peace oh so what are you still doing here